All right, guys, in this video, I just want to show you a few other things that you can do with shell scripting. And I don't want to get real in detailed because, again, this series is just for Linux. And shell scripting, there is a lot to cover. So for now, I just want to give you guys the basics and show you guys that shell scripts do exist. And, you know, just a couple of cool things that you can do with it. So if you guys are familiar with programming, you probably know about if then else statements and, you know, all that good stuff. So if you want to use an if statement in shell scripting, then what you do is you can do this. And I'll also show you guys how to use parameters, which is that other optional information that you can use whenever you're running commands. So for the first parameter, I'll just check if it's equal to like a hot dog or whatever. And then if you write then on the next line, if the parameter equals hot dog, then we can just, you know, do whatever we want to do. Like you um, typed hot dog. Now you can also add an else condition. And for this else condition, you can just say echo out. Um, uh, I don't know. This is going to be the dumbest thing ever. Like uh, you did not type hot dog and we can actually use that parameter again so whatever they typed we can get that information from them so I'll just echo something like it was and this is actually kind of weird how you use them uh, dollar sign one so that's how we're going to interpret it now at the end just write fi so make sure you save it and I know I'm going over all of this real quick, but again, I just want to give you guys a real uh, basic overview of this, I'm not going to anything in real, uh, you know, grave detail. So bash Bucky, let's just go ahead and add hot dog first. And it's going to say you typed hot dog. Now, since we added that else condition, we can type anything else like tuna fish, hit enter. And it says you did not type hot dog. It was tuna fish. So this is a really simple explanation of how you can get your shell script to make some really basic decisions. Now there's also, I'll just show you guys the last thing, um, loops since <laughs> any like even simple programming demonstration, I feel the need to cover loops. So I'll say something like for string, I'll say for X in uh, like uh, dog, cat, fish, and I'll just write do echo x. So at the end of this, I'm just going to write done. And this is just going to loop through this. So in this series, dog, cat, and fish. And actually, I can't use cat because that. Um, so I'll write um, like, I don't know, elephant. Like it was that hard to think of an animal. All right. So for this series right here, it's going to loop through each one and treat each element as X. Now for each of those elements, it's just going to print it out on the screen. And the reason that I couldn't use cat, because remember, whenever we use cat, it's a keyword that's built into Linux for displaying stuff on the screen. So we can't use built-in keywords or it'll throw it. And remember to save it again. And bash, bucky, boom, roasted, dog, elephant, fish. So that is your really <laughs> like the shortest tutorial on shell scripts that you have probably ever watched. But that's the basics of it. That's what you can do with it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a much better way to automate Linux commands. And that is through the use of Python. I cannot wait. I will see you guys then.